Hello everyone, Aliani here with a quick guide about Nihilister. So Nihilister is upon us in co-op and I thought what better time that to make a Nihilister guide from the perspective of a Snow White player or a Pierce player because Maxwell and other characters can also Pierce for Nihilister specifically that can cover both Nihilister in co-op but also for those of you when you reach Nihilister in chapter 20 and you actually want to use Snow White like I did, or if you meet her in Union Raid, for example, or if she becomes a solo raid boss and you want to use a Snow White comp or a Maxwell comp or a Pierce comp, because Snow White, Dorothy, Maxwell uh, are some examples of Pierce, Laplace as well, with her beam. And uh, she has some very interesting tricks about double hitting. So, a very quick recap on double hitting. Double hitting is when you can line up angles where you can hit the boss multiple times. So, this happens on far more bosses than people realize. And Naya Lister has three that I personally know of. So, I prepared a VOD um, about me fighting Naya Lister, uh, which is the kill that I had on Naya Lister, which is on my channel. And I thought I would go through this VOD and showcase these trip, these double hitting areas that I discovered while trying to progress Nihilister. So bear with me with this. Okay, now we're in the VOD. So Nihilister has three that I personally know of. Uh, the first one is during the circle interruption phase as Nihilister walks forward. She will overlap her gun. Uh, let me try and draw a little bit. Uh, so the gun is here and she will kind of overlap the gun with the shoe in such a way that if you aim properly at the corner of the gun while she's walking forward, you can hit her twice, both on the gun and on the shoe, maximizing your damage on Nihilister. So Nihilister in chapter 20 is a very tight DPS check. And this type of tricks could help you uh, bridge that gap uh, between a kill and timing out. So as you can see, I'm preparing for it. I see that it's going to happen. And here, uh, well, it's not this one. That's embarrassing. Uh, so I'll put it again. So as Nihilister is walking forward, it's mirrored, so it it works on both sides. Personally, I struggle a little bit more on the left-hand side than on the right-hand side. So here I'm going to shoot the right-hand side. As you can see here, as I scroll back a little bit, you can see that the gun is overlapping. So I'll dr draw it in blue. You can see that the gun is kind of overlap. The, the area where the gun is going to be at is sort of overlapping as she walks forward with the shoe. So roughly this is the area the of this Venn diagram. Like this is roughly the spot where I'm going to aim at to try to get that double hit. So take a good look at the health bars, right? So you have this uh gear one and this uh Vulcan one, which are which are the guns. And if you look at the health bars, boom. That double hit with Snow White just dealt quarter to a little bit more damage to gear L. Uh, let me put it in blue so it's more visible. And quarter damage to the gun at the same time. If you also look at the health bars, you will notice that the damage is quite noticeable because Nihilister was at 127, well, 120 give or take uh, health bars. And after that shot, she was at 100. As you, almost almost at 100 health bars, as you can see. So that dealt a very big amount of damage to Nihilister because of the double hit, because the Snow White Burst hit twice. So the other spot where there is a double hit is when Nihilister is about to uh, cast her Fire Breath. So this is the most obvious one, as both guns will go to the center and you just have to hit a shot dead center and hit her in the face and it will pierce both and you will get a double hit. 
Now, the reason why I didn't use it personally in Chapter 20 for uh, Nihilister is because the way I cycled through is <clears throat> I would use No White Burst on cooldown as early as possible. So that meant that I would shoot the shoe and the gun. And then I would use the window while uh, Nihilister is breathing fire and afterwards to heal back up from the damage that she inflicted with her machine gun while she was walking forward using Helm's Burst. But you could change the timings depending on what you feel more comfortable with. Uh, this is just the way I personally did it. The other double hit spot, is, uh, the third double hit spot, is Phase 2. Uh, so, Nihilister Phase 2 has two parts, left head and right head. And at the nape of the neck, which is somewhere around this area, there is a very tiny area where you can hit both of them and the body at the same time, which is why a very what I very cryptically called a double hit or a double clip uh, in my original Nihilister kill. So here you can see that I'm aiming for it just at the nape of the neck, trying to double hit. So you can see that the heads, both of the heads got hit. And that's what I called the double clip. Because at the nape of the neck, you can actually hit both heads and the body to, again, deal tremendous damage to Nihilister. So here you can see that Nihilister was at 40 to 39-ish uh, health bars, give or take. And once I release the burst, she's at 26 health bars left. So that is a massive amount of burst damage in one go to do. Uh, thanks to this double clipping. And these three are consistent across all versions of Nihilister that you will encounter for the simple reason that the only things that will truly change about Nihilister between Union Raid, Solo Raid, uh, Co-op, and Chapter 20 are how they manage the interruption circles and when she transitions to Phase 2. So in chapter 20, she transitions to phase two when you hit 50 health bars, right? In co-op at the moment, it seems to be time-based. And in union raid, it also seems to be time-based. So yeah, that's about the idea roughly of uh, how to deal with uh, Nihilister as a Pierce enjoyer kind of thing. So Snow White and Maxwell can benefit from this, as well as other Pierce characters that I'm kind of forgetting. Uh, Dorothy, to some extent, can do it, but because she's not a sniper or a, um, well, pseudo-sniper with uh, Snow White's burst, but an assault rifle, it's a little bit more finicky and maybe less rewarding than uh, doing it with Snow White or Maxwell. Or Laplace. I always forget Laplace because I almost don't use her. But yeah, that's uh, about it. If you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below. And I'll see you guys uh, next time.